Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Advanced Technology Verana. Uh, we have done the configuration in the previous session on the internet uh, router side. Okay, and uh, let me share my diagram quickly with you. Okay, so our this part uh, has been completed for the internet uh, router connectivity. This uh, side also done infrastructure side and uh, on the DMZ side we have uh, done this part as well okay uh, wireless part we'll do in the last because this is based on my palo alto firewall so our now target is to configure the palo alto firewall uh, with the interfaces and the basic information which is uh, required uh, to configure on the palo alto firewall so uh, what is my approach my dmz zone have uh, uh, two vlans one as uh, for the wireless vlan and one as management and my inside zone also have a two VLAN, one for the management of the switches and one for my video conferencing and uh, my security system. Okay, so what is my approach now? I will configure uh, the gateways for my DMZ zone switches and the Wi-Fi in my Palo Alto firewall as a sub interfaces because I have one physical connectivity. This one I will do as trunk from the switch side and on the Palo Alto side, I will configure the sub interfaces for my wireless 168 and for my uh, this one uh, for my management. Okay. I just mentioned this wrong 106. I will correct this one. Okay, so I have done this one. Okay, I correct it. Okay, so the Palo Alto firewall have this uh, interfaces and uh, I will do the reachability uh, from the Palo Alto firewall to my DMZ and to my inside zone. On the, on the inside side, I will just create the VLAN 250 for the infrastructure because I do not want uh, my video conferencing system or my CCTV system to be exposed on the internet. So I will not create the VLAN for uh, that uh, traffic on the Palo Alto firewall. I will just make the management VLAN and uh, later on I will uh, configure this VLAN 250 also with the specific source to be reachable from my DMZ. Okay, so this will be my approach. So uh, let me click with, uh, with the Palo Alto firewall. Right now, I'm connecting with the management interface of the Palo Alto. So the first thing which I will uh, I will configure that is the management profile. Okay, what is the management profile in the Palo Alto firewall? If I go to the network, I'll come to the interface management. I'll make it add and here I will uh, found the interface management profile to access my Palo Alto uh, with, the, with the management services and the network services. Okay, the reason to configure this, which is very important because uh, once I will, uh, uh, I will place my Palo Alto firewall into the network rack, I, I configure the interfaces. So I will connect my Palo Alto firewall either from the DMZ zone side or either from the inside zone side. Okay, so I have to uh, it, uh, to tell my Palo Alto firewall that how I will connect the Palo Alto firewall as HTTPS like with the secure and I want ping to be reachable from my inside and uh, from the DMZ as well. So I can create a multiple man management profile as per my uh, requirement. So I'll make it MGT profile. Okay. Uh, I can allow SNMP traffic as well if you want to monitor it. So it, it is uh, totally based on your requirement. But from the uh, management services, just select HTTPS and SSH as a secure communication and ping. Okay, I have done this one. After that, I'll come to the virtual router. I will configure the route to reachable to the internet. Okay. So I will give the default route, same you done in the router side. I'll make add. I'll just make it route internal. 
route external better route external okay and the static route i'll make it add i'll mention default route destination will be 000, zero, zero. okay and my next hop ip will be 192.168.50.2 okay let me make sure yes this is my next hop okay simple i'll make it okay now i will come to the interfaces i'll come to the vlan i will create the vlan for my network so i will create three vlan 168 okay i will create 168 i will create 240 and i will create 250 quickly Two forty. One six eight. Two fifty. Okay. So I'll come back to the Ethernet and uh, I will see which interface one dot seven. So now I will create the sub interface on my Palo Alto firewall. Okay. So I will just click on my interface 1.7. And uh, I will uh, do it as a layer 3. Okay. Now this option is highlighted. Before it was not available. So I'll make it sub interface 240. I will tag the traffic to 40. Okay. Virtual router, I will create here. I already created the route external security zone. Zones are very important. Okay. So I'm telling my Palo Alto firewall that uh, this 1.7 is really related to which zone, which is DMZ. Okay. So I have to provide it with every interface. So I will create from here DMZ zone this dmz zone is case sensitive the naming okay i can create as a capital z and small z multiple zones it will be two zones so make sure it should be the correct one okay i'll give the ip and in the advance i will associate the profile which i have created just now Okay, so now I'm able to ping and access my Palo Alto on with this IP of the Palo Alto firewall. Okay, this is done now. I will create one more interface. I'll put the description here, which is very important. Virtual router and DMC. I'll put the sub interface IP. Okay, so this is done now. Still, until now, it is not. Uh, uh, enable because I did not commit with the Palo Alto firewall. So next thing I will configure my uh, this interface one slash five, which is uh, connecting with the internet router. So I'll come over here. Layer three. Connected to router. External route. I'll create a new zone outside zone. And uh, in the IPv4, I will give the IP 192.168, I believe 50.2, 50.1. Okay. And in the advance, I will just uh, select this profile. 
otherwise it is not recommended to associate the profile with your outside interface from the router side okay so this is done now i believe we have done all the things let me make commit and i will connect the Palo Alto firewall with my aggregation switch so 7 is connecting with my aggregation switch okay then five interface is connected with my internet router and it will be connected with my inside zone switches okay so finally it is done now my interfaces are enabled now i will do one thing i will go to my switch aggregation to configure my interfaces with this one okay i will just configure the dmz1 and uh, uh, 107 okay so show run interface gigabit I'll give the description connected to firewall port 7. Okay. After that, switch port, switch port mode run, switch port. Trunk allowed, VLAN all. No shut. Simple. Okay. So this is my configuration. So I have connected with this one. Let me ping now. Still the, uh, the interfaces protocol is down. It will take some more time to come up. Okay, so now my protocol traffic is up, up from here. And now if I do the up arrow, up. okay. So now I will ping my gateway, which is 10.1 on the firewall. Okay, I'll make it repeat at 500 to see if there is any drop. There is no drop. Same thing I will do with my 240.1. Okay, and I will do the repeat as 500. Okay, I will save the configuration. Let me power up my router and uh, then I will ping uh, this connectivity from the router side as well. Okay, now I connected to the internet router. Let me check here st uh, status. Let me refresh this one. And now this is come up. Show IP interface brief, exclude unassigned. So I will do the ping. Dot one, repeat 10. Okay. So I'm able to access this one, repeat 500, 
to see there is any drop in the packet and uh, there is no drop okay now i will show you one thing more i will remove this profile from this interface and uh, you will see the ping will stop working okay i'll make it none as soon as this progress will reach to 99% this ping will stop i will not make it repeat, uh, repeat. you'll see now okay it is stop now because i removed the management profile from the interface 1/5 class finish Uh, so guys we have uh, done our configuration as per our our uh, diagram uh, let me show you here okay i have uh, we have done this configuration i will not do the configuration on this side to save the time it is the same configuration same as my dmz uh, the only difference i will not create the sub interface on the inside zone it is just a layer 3 interface with this ip connecting with my uh, access switch as a trunk or i can do as access okay and uh, simple is that nothing more so guys uh, finally it is uh, a time to rack my palo alto firewall into the my network cabinet because we have done the basic level of configuration we have done the physical connectivity we have done the connectivity with the internet router so there is no more uh, need to access my uh, palo alto firewall with the management interface okay i will uh, connect my palo alto from my aggregation switch from the dmz side so uh, the remaining configuration we will do from the inside and we will configure the uh, the policies we configure the we will configure the net and we will configure the services we will block the traffic we will allow the traffic we will use the app id and different features which are available in the palo alto firewall So I hope uh, we have uh, done our lab for today. You have enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this channel. Stay tuned. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Bye bye.